welcome to this week's garden update. So we've got some seeds germinating here. I want to try out the little cup method versus the bag method. I do think I like this better and the seeds have been a little easier to germinate. So I've got some chard, some uh, baby tomatoes and some spinach. Over here we've got some sprouts. I think this is day five for these sprouts. We're probably gonna have them for dinner tonight. I've got some blue oyster mushrooms starting. Nothing really like happening yet. And we are doing a lot of seed germinating. So got some actual finally successful green peppers, Swiss chard, lettuce, spinach, um, more radishes, and I can't remember what's in here, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, microgreens are microgreening. A lot of the baby plants are doing really well. The tomatoes, the lettuce. Um, I regret not planting more chives in the little chive seed block, but we're gonna fix that the next germination. And uh, everything is relatively doing well. We've got lots of radishes coming in, uh, so that'll be pretty exciting. Shelf three planted all the basil clones. Wish I planted another one, but I'm going to probably start one relatively soon or clone another one. So we'll just pop that in. The tomato plants are getting big and we're starting to plan for them to go to the basement. There's tons of growth on the pepper plants. Last week, all of these little nodules of leaf were just like super tiny buds. So I'm pleased with how things are going with both pepper plants. I harvested about half of this cilantro because it was getting out of hand and gave it to some driveway visiting friends this week, but I might need to again. The dill is getting crazy and finally the basil has recovered enough that we're probably going to make more pesto pretty soon. And uh, shelf three, the lettuce is honestly not growing as quickly as I want it to, that's why I've started a bunch more. Uh, we're going to expand probably down to the basement with lettuce production. Lots of Swiss chard. We were um, doing groceries recently and like one of these little plants is like five bucks worth of Swiss chard. It was insane what is being charged for vegetables these days. The little tomato plants are doing good. I don't think I have any ripe ones yet, but I've got lots of flowers. Uh, continuously coming up and there's lots of little fruit so I just have to be patient. I don't know if you can see them all the way in there and there's just lots of flowers forming. So again just patience is needed even though I definitely want tomatoes like right now. And for this week's jalapeno update we've got lots of fruit coming in. It's getting nice and big. Oh, oh, just knocked a flower off. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it's progressing. This is the plant that we haven't done any sort of um, trimming with. And the fruit production is going super well. They're like just over like an inch and a half. They're an inch, inch and a half now. So we're just going to let them get to full size and then probably make some homemade jalapeno poppers and then have an overabundance of jalapenos that I'm gonna dry or do something with because I don't know if we can eat this many jalapeno poppers in one sitting. The little strawberries continue to grow. Uh, now you can see some of the vegetation through the dome. Um, I'm hoping they're going to start getting a little bigger so I can lift the dome off and we'll see how that goes. And here we've got some microgreens that I'm starting to sprout for some mung beans and I've got some mustard microgreens 
as well. This is just an experiment to see how it does on clay pebbles because it's kind of a gelatinous seed and, uh, and the experiment may not be worth it, but I wanted to see what happens if I try. So uh, I will let you know more as this one progresses. All right, and now we're outside. We don't usually grow anything outside because we've got some pretty, oh, butterfly. Um, we've got some pretty nasty pollen allergies, but uh, with fall coming, it's been a little bit cooler. The pollen hasn't been that bad. So I cleared out these garden beds we weren't really doing much with, and I laid down a bunch of like sawdust pellets. It's a little moist from the rain. It's been raining the last two days and I'm gonna make uh, oyster mushroom beds out of them. And this is late August so I mean I'm hoping I can get them to fruit before it gets too cold but even if I fail this year we might get something in spring so I'm just gonna set it up and um, mix the oyster mushroom substrate in today, add a little bit more um, maple hardwood dust and then away we go.